a revolution is happening. People are furious, especially after the brutal death of Mahsa Amini. She was only 22 years old. A Kurdish girl came from her city, Saqqas, to Tehran for a vacation. But after two hours, her body, dead body, was given to the family. Why? Because just a bit of her hair was visible. She was not even unveiled. She was not, you know, let me, I actually want to show you. She was wearing this headscarf like this. But in Iran, bunch of police walking around. If you show a little bit of your hair, they arrest you. They bitten you and they kill you like what they did to Mahsa. That is why now many Iranian women burning their headscarves, cutting their hair to show their anger, not only against compulsory job, against the whole regime. And this is just the beginning to an end. They want an end for gender apartheid regime. Right. Uh, so we've seen uh, protests. We're seeing images essentially uh, through uh, social networks. Uh, so it's difficult to know how, how widespread this is. But we've heard the response from the regime, a crackdown and also condemnation by the supreme leader saying that this was a foreign pl plot against Iran by the, Z the Zionists, their allies and their collaborators. You know, can I tell you something? This movement has leaders. And the leaders are within the society. They have agency. They're not agent of any Western government. But I have to tell you, those who help the Iranian regime in the West, they should be blamed. Because I actually have uh, been warning many years the female politicians, the Western countries, about the dangers of hijab police. They never helped us. Instead, the Western female politicians, they helped the Iranian regime by wearing hijab, by bowing to the same regime. I mean, your president, Macron, from uh, French, uh, I mean, from France, many times tried to have a deal with our murderers. He never asked Iranian women to take off their hijab. The U.S. government's main focus is just to get a nuclear deal. Ségolène Royal, Federico Mogherini, Catherine Ashton, and many high representatives of the EU from the Western country they actually saving and empowering our regime, not asking Iranian women to go to the street and overthrow the regime. This is the true face of Iranian women saying to the rest of the world that we are here and we are asking an end for the Islamic Republic. We're not agent of any Western government. Instead, the Western government are trying to save Iranian regime.